welcome back guys so if you haven't subscribed please <clears throat> make sure you subscribe and hit the notification button so i can keep dropping cool and interesting content like this all right so i make sure please do like share also very important so we can get this tutorial to as many as would need it so let's let's get right to it so today we're just going to be saying baking out baking out maps for this i think it's high time to start baking out various maps for this and exporting out our mesh to exporting out our mesh and just kind of set things up so we can move on to texturing so okay Let me start by exporting out, exporting out the mesh. Put this in a new folder first. Creating a new folder for this. Wukong add. Oh, there's something in seven. Something in seven. Do something i need to do yes this mini screws i need to need to put put, put it in place it needs to be in place before anything else um let me start by doing under mod def deformation just polish this a little okay i'll do this out of symmetry so just push this in turn of symmetry for this Okay. Should probably use the transparency in here. Let's get a closer view in here. Okay. Is a smaller brush size. It's supposed to go max out. Smooth this down. Let me select this and just isolate this like so first. Okay, smooth this part down. But I don't, I don't necessarily want this this eye. I 
max out I don't necessarily want it this high. Just something faint like this should be fine. Okay, I think that should be fine. Leave this up some more. Okay. I think that should be fine. Let's go to the next one. Okay. max out this for now okay Okay. Just trying to be as careful as I can. Okay. Invert the max. Don't think I necessarily okay. Smooth this out. I don't want to be too. I don't want to be too obvious. Shouldn't be too obvious. Yeah, I think that is in a good place. Let me do a quick save for this. Right, so um, just put all of this in here. All right. Down some more. Okay. All right. So uh, let's start exporting this out. Export all of this out. So let's start with the head. So I'll go to the. Uh, 
maybe not necessarily the, the lowest subdivision level let's just go on subdivision level higher something around here so i'm exporting this as subdivision level two so i'll go to my exports preferences export settings turn on group turn on smooth normal exports Create a new folder named Z Exports. Hmm. Ukon base here, that's fine. Save this. Come metal neck color. Hmm. Okay. What's the lowest subdivision level in there? Oh, this is actually, this is actually okay, we're already on the lowest. This is the lowest already. Okay, I believe we have UVs on there already, but we'll see. So let's export this out also. Neck vest. Okay, let's go one subdivision level lower for that. Exports. All right. Let me get this out. Bring the meniscus in here. Let's export out this meniscus. No. Save. Hmm. All right. So what I would like to do is to at least let's. Let's see if I can. Uh, let's open up. <clears throat> let's open up the Maya file for this so we can import all of that in there. Okay, so this is our file. So let's import. Uh, let's import back everything we need in here. So, uh, this is the head. Drop drag this in here like so where's this inner eye I think we need to increase the inner eye even a bit more increase the scale some more anyways <clears throat> Um, okay, I need to bring the bring the I made a duplicate of this in our eye just to get a copy of this out. Yeah, then I'll just name this to base. Assets hide that why is why is it transparent? I don't even need this. Let me even drop this in here. Then under the exports, select everything I need the neck, neck vest, head. Wait, I did not export out the meniscus. Let's export that out. Oh, it was an import. It's supposed to be on export. Okay. So it should be in the correct folder now. Meniscus, then just drag and drop this in here. Okay. 
think uh, we're in a good place so um okay let's do a duplicate of this outer eye and get this out of that group Okay. The inner eye, I feel like she kind of scale this out some more. Can see if I can let me see if I can scale it out some more. So I'm just going to hide. Hide all of this for now. Hide this also. Um, let me put this on modeling standard for now. I'm ready on face mode. Okay. I'll just do one piece. Then I'll just mirror that to the other side. Go to the front view. Hmm. Well, that is strange. This one is not looking perfectly straight. It's not looking straight at all. So something we need to fix. See if it's straight now. Okay, that looks straight enough now. I'll delete this. Huh. Let's see if we can scale this out some more. Let's go to wireframe and shade dead on this. Let's see. Hmm. Need to figure out if this is directly on the center. You think now is in the center. Okay. Huh. You can scale it out a bit more. Yeah, I think this should be fine. Do a quick save.
okay okay i think we can delete this let's bring this back the main head back out let's see what we have yeah this still works fine that still works fine i need to mirror this to the other side let me do a quick save also to Okay. Let's do the same for the inner eye. Delete by type history. Let's delete history on that. Yeah, I think we are good. We are good. All right. Now I think I'll need to export this outer eye and update that in ZBrush. Let me update this on both sides, both for the import and exports. Okay, export also. Oh, exports. Oh, okay. I just need to. Let us go back to ZBrush. Then select this inner eye and reload that import. So from the Z imports. Let us import that in again. So that should update. Yeah, so that should update just fine. Okay. There's a different background for this. I can see this properly. Alright, so what is this? Okay. Right, so I want to check the UVs. Let's check the UVs for everything seems fine. I think the will use for this neck vest is what I need to check. Let's start with this piece. So I'm just going to go in here. Let's bring all of this out. Okay, this is the default that this is the default that came from default that came from um, ZBrush. So let's just see if we can arrange this properly. Select all of this orient on that transformer. I'll just rotate this. Select all of this. I do layout for that. Okay. I think for the most part this should work. That should work just fine. <clears throat> Let's go to the other piece.
Okay, I think I'll need to. Let's see, let see what I want to unfold this. Uh, let me just rotate this, this this way. Maybe all of this. Take that that way also. Orient. Select this. Rotate. Mm. Okay, that that we also I don't think I need to do so much in here. I don't think I need to do so much in here. For the most part, this should work just fine. Yeah, I think it should work just fine. So I select these two. I want them to be on the same UV space. So they lay out for this. Okay, so we have something in here now. Let's just check the UVs for it. Yeah, I think this should be fine. At least for the most part, it should work just fine. Okay. So I'll need to I need to update this. So let's export this out. Let's put this out. This is a metal neck color. The imports mm, may work. Okay. Okay. And I'm just save it here instead. Should probably copy this so I don't have to type this all over again. Let's do some clean up in here. So in the import, let me just paste this here. Spot that out. Put that out also. <clears throat> then go back to ZBrush and then just update them in here. So metal neck color. So imports metal neck color. Okay. Neck vests imports. Right, that's fine. The quick saving here. So I think the next lesson. Let's just stop this for now. I think the next lesson we can we we'll go into the baking process. <clears throat> go into the baking process for this. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Bye for now.